Xenoarchaeology is a hypothetical form of archaeology that exists mainly in works of science fiction. The field is concerned with the study of material remains to reconstruct and interpret past lifeways of alien civilizations. Xenoarchaeology is not currently practiced by mainstream archaeologists due to the current lack of any material for the discipline to study. Etymology the name derives from Greek xenos which means stranger, alien, and archaeology, study of ancients. Xenoarchaeology is sometimes called exoarchaeology, although some would argue that the prefix exo would be more correctly applied to the study of human activities in a space environment. Other names for xenoarchaeology, or specialized fields of interest, include probe seti, extraterrestrial archaeology, space archaeology, seta, discernian seti, planetary seti, set, setv, extraterrestrial anthropology, archaeology, and selena archaeology. Justification. It is arguably the case that, due to the immense distances between stars, any evidence we discover of extraterrestrial intelligence, whether it be an artifact or an electromagnetic signal, may come from a long-vanished civilization. Thus the entire SETI project can be seen as a form of archaeology. Additionally, due to the extreme age of the universe, there may be a reasonable expectation for or astrobiology research to produce evidence of extinct alien life prior to the discovery of alien life itself. The study of alien cultures might offer us glimpses into our own species past the future development. Vicky Walsh argued for the existence of exo-artifacts using the principle of mediocrity and the Drake equation. She proposed that a theoretical and speculative field of archaeology be established in order to test outlandish claims, and to prepare for a time when undeniably extraterrestrial artifacts needed to be analyzed. If it is possible to construct an abstract archaeology that can be tested and refined on Earth and then applied to areas beyond our planet, then the claims for ETI remains on the Moon and Mars may really be evaluated in light of established archaeological theory and analysis. Ben McGee similarly proposed the creation of a set of interdisciplinary, proactive xenoarchaeological guidelines, arguing that identifying suspected artifacts of astrobiology is all that is required to justify establishing a methodology for xenoarchaeology. He emphasized the necessity of proactive xenoarchaeological work in order to avoid future bias, mischaracterization, and information mismanagement. Management, and he cites three scenarios under which such a methodology a set of guidelines would be useful, those being remote sensing of a potential xenoarchaeological artifact, encountering an artifact during human exploration, and terrestrial interception of an artifact. Greg Fewer has argued that archaeological techniques should be used to evaluate alleged UFO landing or crash sites, such as Roswell. History. The origins of the field have been traced to theories about a hypothetical Martian civilization based on observations of what were perceived as canals on Mars. These theories, of which Percival Lowell was the most famous exponent, were apparently inspired by a mystery translation of a quote by Giovanni Schiaparelli. The 1997 Theoretical Archaeology Group conference featured a session on archaeology and science fiction. The 2004 annual meeting of the American Anthropological Association featured a session Anthropology, Archaeology and Interstellar Communication, Planetary SETI. Planetary SETI is concerned with the search for extraterrestrial structures on the surface of bodies in the solar system. Claims for evidence of extraterrestrial artifacts can be divided into three groups, the Moon, Mars, and the other planets and the satellites. Examples of sites of interest include the Bridge, sighted in the Mare Crisium in 1953, and the Blair Cuspids, an unusual arrangement of seven spots 
spire-like objects of varying heights at the western edge of the Mare Tranquilli Tartus, photographed by in Lunar Orbiter 2 on November 20, 1966. In 2006, Ian Crawford proposed that a search for alien artifacts be conducted on the Moon. Percival Lowell's mistaken identification of Martian canals was an early attempt to detect and study an alien culture from its supposed physical remains. More recently, there was interest in the supposed face on Mars. The Society for Planetary SETI Research is a loose organization of researchers interested in this field. The organization does not endorse any particular conclusions drawn by its members on particular sites. Probe SETI, or SETA. A great deal of research and writing has been done, and some searches conducted for extraterrestrial probes in the solar system. This followed the work of Ronald N. Bracewell, Robert Freitas, Christopher Rose and Gregory Wright have argued that interstellar probes can be a more energy-efficient means of communication than electromagnetic broadcasts. If so, a solar-centric search for extraterrestrial artifacts would seem to be favored over the more traditional radio or optical searches. Robert A. Freitas coined the term SETA in the 1980s, on the basis that the Earth-Moon-Sun-Earth libration orbits might constitute convenient parking places for automated extraterrestrial probes. Unsuccessful searches were conducted by Freitas and Valdez. Dysonian SETI. In a 1960 paper, Freeman Dyson proposed the idea of a Dyson sphere, a type of extraterrestrial artifact able to be searched for and studied at interstellar distances. Following the paper, several searches have been conducted. In a 2005 paper, Lou Carnald proposed a means of detecting smaller, though still megascale, artifacts from the distinctive transit light curve signal. French theories, a subculture of enthusiasts studies purported structures on the Moon or Mars. These controversial structures are not accepted as more than natural features by most scientists. Examples of the Pareidolia phenomenon, paleocontact or ancient astronaut theories, espoused by Eric van Daniken and others, are further examples of French theories. These claim that the Earth was visited in prehistoric times by extraterrestrial beings. Science fiction. Xenoarchaeological themes are common in science fiction. Works about the exploration of enigmatic extraterrestrial artifacts have been satirically categorized as big dumb object stories. Some of the more prominent examples of xenoarchaeological fiction include Arthur C. Clarke's novel Rendezvous with Rama, H. Beam Piper's short story Omnilingual, and Charles Sheffield's Heritage Universe. Universe series. Jack McDevitt's science fiction novels often revolve around human or alien historical and archaeological mysteries. Mass Effect's plot revolves around technologies in the form of structures, transportation, buildings and machines left behind by an extinct alien race. The primary setting of Halo, Combat Evolved takes place on a massive structure created by an ancient, extinct alien super race. These structures feature prominently in the sequels Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4. In the video game, Borderlands, and its sequel, Borderlands 2, the Atlas Corporation started mining the planet Pandora after finding evidence of an ancient material called Iridium. This material was supposedly created by extraterrestrial creatures or is a natural product of long-term planetary production. Novels Gateway by Fred Pohl. Noon Universe by Strigatsky Brothers. 2001, A Space Odyssey by Arthur C. Clarke. Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. Wasteland of Flint by Thomas Harlan. House of Reeds by Thomas Harlan. The Season of Passage by Christopher Pike. Broken Angels by Richard Morgan. Strata by Terry Pratchett. Revelation Space by Alastair Reynolds. 
Grass by Sherry S. Tepper. The Voyage of the Space Beagle by A. E. Van Vogt. The Engines of God by Jack McDevitt. The Hercules Text by Jack McDevitt. The Novels in the Heritage Universe by Charles Sheffield. The Past of Forever by Winita Coulson. Saga of Seven Sons by Kevin J. Anderson. Heritage Trilogy by Ian Douglas. Ring World by Larry Niven. The Gear Trilogy by John Varley. Short Stories. Omnilingual by H. Beam Piper. The Sentinel by Arthur C. Clarke. At the Mountains of Madness by H. P. Lovecraft. The Vaults of Yovombus by Clark Ashton Smith. Computer and Video Games Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri. Alien Legacy. Star Trek A Final Unity. Rama. Freelancer. Free Space. Wing Commander. Privateer. The Dig. Doom 3. Halo Series. Mass Effect. Mysteries related to an extinct race known as the Protheans figure prominently in the plot and one of the characters you get in your party is a Xenoarchaeologist. Also, it's a profitable business, giving rise to various paleotechnological companies recovering functioning devices, which are often superior to indigenous technology of the 22nd century. Civilization Call to Power Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, Resistance, Starcraft, Aliens vs. Predator, Aliens vs. Predator, Dead Space, Borderlands, Metal Fatigue, Marathon 2, Durandal, The Lacuna Expanse. There are many buildings that were left behind on hundreds of thousands of planets by a mysterious species known only as the Great Race. Dot, movies Alien, Stargate, Doom. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Alien vs. Predator. Prometheus. Destination Outer Space features a robot that visited Earth over 2,000 years ago. Television Babylon 5. Star Trek. Stargate. Doctor Who. Stargate SG-1 and its spin-off Stargate Atlantis.